Hola, hello. My name is Naiva Reynoso and I am the author of How to Fold a Taco, Como Doblar un Taco. And I am so happy to be here. The reason that I wrote How to Fold a Taco, Como Doblar un Taco is because I am a very, very proud Mexican American and we know that tacos are one of the most popular favorite dishes in this country and in other countries as well. So I wanted to write a book that really honored the cultural traditions of, of my people, of my community, and also something that we can all relate to because we all love tacos, right? So without further ado, I am going to start reading How to Fold a Taco, which I wrote um, in English and in Spanish, and it rhymes, rima, so it's a lot of fun to read. So, como doblar un taco, how to fold a taco. Okay. How to fold a taco. There are thousands of ways to fold a taco. Everyone loves them from Austria to Morocco. Hay mil maneras de doblar un taco. Todos aman este plato, desde los marroquíes hasta los austriacos. Just use your imagination and you'll see it's easy for everyone, for you and for me. There are just a few rules while enjoying this dish. Have fun, be silly, and make the inside squish. Usa tu imaginación y te darás cuenta que es fácil para todos. Dale, intenta. Solo hay dos reglas para disfrutar este alimento. Diviértete mucho y aplasta lo de adentro. And one thing's for sure, a fork you won't need. No forks. Just keep reading this book and follow my lead. El tenedor no será necesario por varias razones. Pasa la página y sigue mis instrucciones. You can pinch the top closed with your index finger and thumb, bringing the edges together as one. Toma el taco con los dedos índice y pulgar, juntando la tortilla en un mismo lugar. All you need are your fingers for this exquisite meal. Utensils are not allowed, and that's the real deal. Ahora usa las manos para levantar el taco. Se come sin cubiertos. Y ese es el trato. It's hard to eat tacos without making a mess, but that's the best part, I have to confess. Y si a veces se sale el relleno de adentro, no te preocupes. Y come contento. You can fold it like this from left to right. Doblalo así de izquierda a derecha when reverse so it's cozy and tight. Con la tortilla apretada y bien estrecha. Imagine going to sleep with a tortilla blanket. I think I would wake up without a blanket because I would eat it in the middle of the night. Tortillas are so good. You can bring up both sides at the same time. Or fold up your taco while reciting a rhyme. O levanta los lados de esquina a esquina. Inténtalo también recitando una rima. Okay, and if you see, she is holding a poemas de tacos, a taco poem book. Okay. Or you can fold a taco while dancing and singing. Or here's an idea, try it while spinning. <laughs> Hasta puedes doblar tu taco mientras bailas y cantas. O hazlo girando, verás que sí, aguantas. I dare you to try to fold a taco while you're spinning. Most of the, the insides will come out, but it's okay. Or blow on the sides till it slams shut. Then chomp and chew till it reaches your gut. 
o sopla los lados para cerrarlo como tortita y luego dale una mordida para que te llegue a la pancita. Yum, yum, yum. You see? He ate the taco. X-rays. Okay. Wrestlers can fold a taco while in mid-fight. I have a little wrestler here. Look. If they twist and they pull with all of their might. Los luchadores doblan sus tacos con fuerza y vigor. Doblando y estirando con gracia y sudor. Ooh, let's see. This taco, woo, who is going to win, wrestler or taco? Actually, I think that's the name of my next book, Taco versus Wrestler. All right, remember that. Or hire a magician who uses power of mind. But beware, that taco will soon, poof, disappear, you will find. Los magos, en cambio, usan el poder de la mente. Pero seguro el taco, uf, desaparecerá de repente. Hey, how about this cool idea? What if helicopters lift the tortilla? ¿Y qué tal esta idea para levantar las orillas? Alquila helicópteros para juntar la tortilla. Or call on a T-Rex for extra support. <laughs> Forget that. Their arms are too short. O llama un tiranosaurio rex. Dile que necesita su ayuda. Uy, olvídalo. Sus brazos son demasiado chiquitos sin duda. Is that true? Let's see. Is it, are their arms too small for the taco? I think they're right. Unless you hook it right here. Badam! He was able to hold the taco. All right, so that's the illustration. You can have dragons pull it up from the ends, then top it with salsa and enjoy it with friends. Y si invitas a dragones que levanten los lados, así le pones salsa mientras lleguen tus invitados. Now, taco lovers, it's no illusion that together with this little car, we've reached this delicious conclusion. Ahora, amantes del taco, no es solo una ilusión que juntos hemos llegado a esta deliciosa conclusión. I want to show you guys that this little cart here is actually an exact replica of this page. And it's even a replica of the taco man. Look at that. If I could get him out, look at this. Little taco man. Dee, 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 dee. And you can see him right here. The taco man. Isn't that cool? I think it's super cool because I have my own taco truck. Whether in your pajamas or camping under the stars above, the best part is sharing tacos with those you most love. Aunque los dobles bajo las estrellas, acampando en tus pijamas, lo importante es compartir tacos con los que más amas. There you go. And that is the end of the, the rhyming part of my book. But in my book, I also include my mom's taco recipe. And this is a recipe, very, very simple recipe that you can uh, do with your parents. Um, and it's vegan. My son is vegan. So he, he likes to eat um, vegetables and potatoes and things like that. So this has a brief history of, you know, why I like tacos so much. So basically I say when I was growing up, my favorite tacos were my mom Hortensia's homemade tacos de papa or potato tacos. Just like magic, my mom would gather a few ingredients from our kitchen, and before I knew it, I was devouring her delicious tacos de papa. You see? So these are the ingredients. If you get the book or, or uh, check out the book at the library, you can make this recipe. It basically, all you need is three potatoes, onion, tomato, salt, pepper, onion, 
or garlic powder, oil for frying, and then optional toppings, which could be shredded lettuce, cheese if you want, onion, tomato, Mexican cream, avocado, salsa, or whatever you want. So that's the beauty of tacos, that you can make any kind of tacos that you want, and they don't have to be meat. They can be veggie tacos, they can be avocado tacos, they can be potato tacos like this one. So um, after this page, and I really encourage you to cook with your family, because it's a bonding experience, um, is a brief history of the taco, okay? So I want to read this page to you guys because it's very important. Okay, a taco is a traditional Mexican dish. Its main ingredient is a tortilla, a thin round flat bread made of unleavened cornmeal or wheat flour. Tacos are made by placing a variety of ingredients on top of the tortilla when folding it together and eating it by hand. Some popular ingredients used to make tacos include beef, pork, chicken, seafood, avocado, onions, and salsa. There are also vegan tacos made with things like beans, squash, potatoes, and jackfruit. The first tacos were made with corn tortillas. Corn wouldn't exist if it weren't for the indigenous people of the Americas that cultivated and developed it. According to scientists, people living in what is now central Mexico developed corn also known as maize, at least seven to 10,000 years ago from a wild grass called tocinte. Mexicans have always played a crucial role in North American culture and history. Before the United States was formed, thousands of Mexicans were already living in the Southern and Western regions of North America. And during the 20th century, many more Mexicans came to El Norte to work the mines and build railroads to help develop US infrastructure, bringing with them their delicious dish, the taco. The first known mention of the word taco in the United States was in a newspaper in 1905. According to nationaltacoday.com, Americans eat more than 4.5 billion tacos a year and they rank among the, among the most beloved foods of America and the world. And get this, in 2010, Mexican cuisine was declared intangible heritage of humanity by UNESCO. So there you go. A brief history of the taco. Now it's your guys' turn. If you want to write a book, just think about something you really, really love. I love tacos, so I wrote about tacos. But look, this is how simple it is. So these are two, you know, I got a couple of plain sheets. Right? You fold them, that. Put a little title. How to fold a taco. I, I drew a taco. A taco is very easy to draw. They, thank goodness. Then you start writing. I, I wrote a little, I put a little dinosaur on one page and then on the other page you can write your story. But pick something that you're really passionate about. Whether it's uh, ice cream or whether it's a friend or whether it's your family or whether it's math or science or, or, or you want to be an astronaut. Just don't limit yourself. Use your imagination and write your own story. I started writing my own stories when I was very little. And now I have books out and I can share them with you all. So if you like writing and if you like being creative, just you can write your own book, just like I did, How to Fold a Taco. And if you want to check out other books of mine, I have uh, different ones. Like, for example, this one, Be Bold, Be Brave. Chiquitos, this is a board book, 11 Latinas Who Made U.S. History, and this features 11 different uh, women that really changed history in the United States. We have doctors, we have uh, politicians, artists, and Oscar winners, and then at the end, we have a little mirror so you can look at yourself and really dream big. Again, thank you so much for having me. My name is Naiba Reynoso, and please feel free to check out all of my books on contodopress.com. Hasta luego. Gracias. Bye.